So the first thing that we want to do is fully inspect the trailer. Um, if the trailer arrives in anything other than blue wrapping, uh, you know that something is wrong. Kendon always uses blue wrap um, to uh, wrap the trailers. Um, it's also very important to read the customer warning before accepting. That's going to provide a lot of valuable information just in case the trailer is damaged. Um, and again, we're just going to walk around the trailer and inspect it to make sure that everything is good. You want to make sure that the crate is intact as well. All right, and from there we're going to start unwrapping. Uh, we're going to start at the top and move our way down. And you just want to be very, very careful with the box cutter so you don't damage any of the powder coat. So next we're going to go ahead and take the wheels off. And depending on the model of trailer, the wheels are either mounted on top of the rails or on the bottom of the crate. All right, the next thing we're going to do is cut off the metal banding. All right, and in the light box you have your tail lights. Um, along with lug nuts and everything else you need to attach to the trailer. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is grab our hammer and very carefully we're going to knock off the sides. All right, and most of our crates have enough room to put wheels on. If you find that you don't have enough room, we're just going to use the 2x4s to prop the trailer up a little bit. Next, we're going to take off the packaging from the fenders. Again, be very careful not to scratch the powder coat. Right. So next, we're going to put the wheels on. All right, and this trailer comes with aluminum wheels. I'm going to make sure we put our cover in from the backside. In our light box and we're gonna hand tighten the lug nuts. And we'll use a torque wrench after the trailer is out of the crate. So we're gonna take a little bit of our leftover cardboard. And lay it down. And also a very common question is the spare tire location. This trailer comes with a spare tire and all of our spare tires are stored underneath the trailer. So now we're going to gently pull the trailer out. And just lay it down flat. This trailer comes with standard tail lights. There's a left side tail light that has a license plate light and a right side which doesn't have a license plate light. So these are self-grounding lights which means that they ground to the bolt of the light itself. If you find that there's an issue with your lighting, you may have to grind down just a little bit of powder coat right on the inside of the screw hole and that's going to make sure that the trailer properly grounds. These wires are already pre-stripped and they're also color coded, which matches with the color coding right on the back of the tail light. And there is four sets of um, holes in here, two sets per color. It doesn't matter which one it goes into, this is just if you need to plug in additional lights, which normally is not required on this trailer. So we're just gonna take our wiring and pull it through here. And the grounding wire stays outside because it again it grounds directly to the bolt and again yellow it's going to plug right in and you have to push it a little bit hard that way the crimping mechanism holds that in place and it doesn't back out and we're going to take a ground wire 
and attach it to one of the bolts. And we're gonna put our hardware on. All right, and just to make things a little bit more neat, we're gonna go ahead and cut off some of this excess wire loom. going to go ahead and tighten. The thing we're going to do is torque the wheels and you want to use a star pattern. And you also want to check and retorque after the first 50 miles. So what we're going to do first is take off the grounding wire. These are submersible lights, so everything is grounded and insulated inside of the light. And what we're going to do is put all three wires through here. And then we're also going to feed these wires through the spacer bracket. The spacer bracket allows for the light to be installed. Um, the studs are not um, inside of the light itself. Um, they just slide in. So before we do that, we're gonna have to connect the wires together. Then we're gonna take the light and everything is color coded, but we do have a lot of wires. So what we're going to do is cut a little bit off making sure to leave some slack in case you ever have to remove them or replace them. Okay, then we're gonna match up the colors. Just connect everything together. Then we're gonna attach the hardware. We wanna just align the light, that way everything is straight. And then we just repeat the same thing for the other side. So if you have a Go Series trailer, the process is a little bit different. Um, the lights are pre-wired or hardwired, so we'll need to crimp them. So we'll go ahead and cut off a little bit of the excess wire. Then we're going to cut off the ground on this side. And after that, just gonna feed the wires through the light bracket and connect everything together with the color-coded wires.